So as part of our effort to help people make it in San Diego, 10 News will spend the next year following a few families who have some pretty big financial goals. Yeah, it's our way to let all of you share ideas and inspiration. 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens introduces us to Tansy Campbell, whose family is trying to make retirement come a little sooner, Jared. Yeah, good morning, Jim. Virginia Tansy runs this uh, Instagram page. It's called Her Well Spent Life, and on it she posts all sorts of ideas and inspiration, things like that. Uh, for ways that she and her family paid down debt. Now they're using those same techniques to go the other way and try and save money. This year we will join them on their journey to put 30,000 more dollars in the bank. And so this is the list I use for shopping. Like most super savers and debt destroyers. I have um, like a list of meals like in the back. Tansy Campbell does the meal plans, the grocery lists, the monthly budgets. This is the January one. But for her, saving money isn't about the how, it's about the why. For some people, it's they want to have that other baby or they want to be able to stay home with that baby or they want to move or they want to change jobs or they don't want to work anymore in the job that they're in. They want to, they want to follow a passion project. Her why right here in this picture. This is Dallas here. This is my husband, Henri. This is Kennedy. Her husband is less than seven years from retirement in the Navy. When he's done, Tansy hopes they'll have saved enough for Henri and she to fully retire before 45. Uh, it'll be awesome. Dad will be home. I'm sorry. He'll be home more often, so. Um, he won't have to go out to sea, and we'll just be able to do everything together. So. That's the payoff for years of no spend days, eating at home, tracking every penny to eliminate $105,000 of debt on a one-income military salary. When you don't have debt, you have a little bit more money freed up. Money they now put towards saving. This year, they plan to put away $30,000. That's a big number. Right. But we've had big numbers in the past, so I think we can do it. Yeah, I think they can too. Tansy says her family was able to spend, save $20,000 last year. For this year's number, they wanted to try and stretch that budget a little more. And again, we'll be tracking the Campbells throughout the entire year to share with, their, with you their successes and also how they work through some of their struggles. In the Life Center, Jared Aarons. 10 news. Well, we are pulling for them. Thank you, Jared. Now, if you have been working to get to a financial goal, we'd love to hear from you. Maybe it's starting a small business or maybe you're about to buy your first home. Send us your story to tips at 10news.com. New video showing the moment that